Okay, today we're going to change the batteries in this trip light UPS and I uh, can't do it hot because you have to do it from the side. So I have uh, powered it down and disconnected the power, disconnected the uh, what was plugged into the back of it. And I'm going to open it up and I'll show you what it looks like inside and what's involved in changing the batteries. So I couldn't quite figure out how uh, to open this, but I ended up priming my knife in here just a little bit and it popped open so then it slides out and this is what we get and so I'm going to re remove, disconnect these batteries and uh, I'm going to put the phone down to do that but I'll disconnect them and pull them out and then show you. Okay, not too bad to disconnect, just two batteries back to back and they're taped together straight from the factory which kind of explains my two batteries that I got for replacements, they just come loose. So I can see there's that these uh, little jumper cables are connected inside, so I'll have to, to uh, reattach the jumper cables and then uh, re-tape them together before I slide this back in. Okay, so I cut the tape and I just folded them open and so I can see what my, what my jumpers look like here. Here's the two new batteries that are gonna be replacing them. So I'm gonna Move these jumpers over and keep going. Okay, well I got the jumpers switched over. I even just moved the tape and this little pull tab that was held on by adhesive. And I didn't think to bring any tape with me, so I'll stick it in and connect them up. Well, they slid in very easy and connected right up. And I'll slide the cover back on, reinstall it, get everything reconnected. One thing I did forget to mention is that I did have to take off this little rack mounting ear in order to get it to slide off. So obviously I've got to put that back on. Okay, one more thing. I forgot to uh, put my new sticker on there and to put an entry on my maintenance calendar so that uh, when the date rolls around, I won't have to walk by the UPS because this is at a customer site and I never will walk by the UPS on a regular basis. And so, uh, yeah, got to put a sticker on there so that uh, if I'm no longer servicing it, whoever knows, whoever's around then will know that it's time to replace the batteries. And also put a reminder on my calendar so that when the day pops up, just like it did a couple weeks ago, that uh, I'll order our batteries and get them replaced. I replace them every three years because I've just had too many experiences where anything much older than that is going to fail right when I need it or when I need it the, the most. So that's my philosophy, and I guess that's what I'll stick with it. They're not expensive. Replacement batteries, especially if you don't buy OEM batteries for this, I think we're about $35. So $35 every three years. Some people replace UPSs every three years, and I think that's kind of crazy for the amount of the difference in cost and the, the amount of hassle that it is not really. So that's it.